Hello, this is Gata7, and today I'm going to show you how to add more songs to new Super Mario Bros. DS. So you're going to need your ROM you want to hack, disable music limits.s, Nitro Studio, new Super Mario Bros. E music mod, and the ASN patch template. I'm going to give you all the links in the descriptions. So, that being said, first thing you're going to want to do is extract the new Super Mario Bros. E music mod. After that, you can just delete the zip. So, you're going to want to run this. Then, you're going to want to open your ROM. I'm going to export the ssounddata.exportstat and I'm just going to place it here. All right. Now that we have the sound data, I'm going to open it with Nitro Studio and add our new song. So I'm going to actually add a Super Mario 64 DS song or a song that I made for this. So I'm going to open the stat and in files I'm going to add the wave archives I'm going to use for the song. Like my song needs BGM resident swar and it also needs city or staff or less swar. So I'm going to go into my music folder and first I'm going to look for resident. You can see that added it, and in my entries of wave archives, you'll see the new file. No, not there. Ah, there it is, new file. Then I can rename this to wave resident. Once that is done, you can also add the other wave archive if needed. Mine needs two wave archives, needs staff roll. So I'm going to add that there and call this wave, I'm just going to call it Wave City. And now it's time to add the instrument banks that your songs use. Of course, if you don't need to add SWARs or S banks, then you don't need to do this. You just need to add what your song needs, like dependencies almost. So I'm just going to go ahead, add staff roll, add the staff roll bank. I'm going to call this bank. City. And I'm going to have it use a few different waves. That's the file ID. You don't want to touch that. I'm going to have the first wave be the resident and the second one be the city. You don't you need to have this exactly as your song needs it. Like you can see that they have the wave to a certain thing. You need to know what your SSCQ needs or your what your bank needs. And in my case it needs resident as wave zero, city, and the rest blank. And now moving on to the sound sequences, I'm gonna go into the file sequence and then I'm gonna add my city sequence. So in sound sequence you can see the new file added here. So I'm just gonna rename this to VGM city. Now it's time to select the bank. I'm going to have the bank ID be city. And I recommend setting the player priority to 50 since a lot of them use it. Now I'm going to save as city as stat for example. Alright, now it's time to import this into the DSROM, but first you need to apply a quick patch to this. I'm going to rename this 
to new music just for the sake of things and you need to extract the ASM patch template copy every single thing in there and in your documents folder you need a folder called ASM you can go ahead and delete anything else that's in there and paste in this now you're also going to need to cut these two things you need your ROM and the disable music limits you're going to need to put those both into the ASM folder now you're going to open up the new Super Mario Bros editor the music mod edition and you're going to open go into ASM and hit new music NDS. Now in the ROM file browser, you're going to want to re hit replace. And you're going to want, before, this editor has a problem with importing or replacing some files, so you might want to do a dummy one that you know is not correct. So I'm just going to do that. You can see that the size is like something ridiculous. Now I'm going to open the city stat. Now, to double check that things are going to be working out greatly, I'm going to open VGM Trans to make sure that everything is going correct and that the ASM folder has, or sorry, the new DS has, has the city and that it works. And you can see that it works. So now I'm going to go into the documents and the ASM folder. And you see this disable music limits S. You're going to want to control X that, put that into source. You could remove any of these files that you need. Like this no Nintendo thing will disable the Nintendo logo. Just mess around with what you need to. And then the level, or the ROM file browser, or sorry, tools and options, you want to hit run make and insert. This will build everything in the ASM folder, assuming that you have the DevKit Pro things installed. If you don't have DevKit Pro installed, you need to go do that. You can see that it'll start building. and we get an error so we're going to need it if you get an error you're going to need to edit the make file and we're going to go down to when you see this libs line and you're going to want to remove that hit control s and then now if you run make and insert it should run without errors and you can see that it worked successfully that will enable Roadrunner's patch to allow us to use song entries above a certain point. So now I'm going to go into Nitro Studio again and open our SDAT. So I'm going to Nitro Studio and I'm going to open up City SDAT. Now this will tell us the SSQ IDs. So we're going to want to use BGM City. So we're going to open world 1 1 and we're going to use BGM City. So how we do that is we click the view 0 and this is the SSQ ID right here. That's 112. So I'm just going to put 112. I would click over here just in case. Let's see if it's saved. Yep. Then you can just hit save level. And then we'll see how it looks in game. And I don't know if you can hear this or not, but if you can, the music.
I imported is playing correctly in the game. So I was able to add a completely new song to this level. And you can basically add as much music as you want to the game. I hope you enjoy this.